Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the interior architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. It is the start of the spring semester, and I'm looking forward to all that we're doing this spring. All right, before we jump into today's tutorial, which is Lumion Landscape, all the things that we can do with Lumion Landscape. We can paint the landscape. We can make it grass. We can raise and lower its height. We can cut the landscape. And when I'm talking about landscape, I'm talking about the default plane that comes in the plain environment scene in Lumion. All right. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Search me up on YouTube and click on subscribe and click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications so you don't miss out on anything. If you're an architect, architecture student, interior architect, interior architecture student, someone who's just into digital design, there is something here for you, so subscribe. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso underscore my last name, Peluso. See what I'm up to, making a lot of AI videos. See what my students are doing. All right, look forward to connecting with you. All right, so let's jump into today's tutorial. So I'm just going to start with a new file in Lumion. So I'm going to go to Create New, and I'm going to choose the Plain Environment. All right, so here is what you typically see with the Plain Environment. It's just, it's just some sort of grass material, just a plain kind of poorly textured, looks like Minecraft grass material. All right, so what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring an object into Lumion and see what happens. And this object is at zero Z height, so it's at the, at the origin, and it's extruded six inches up. I'm going to go ahead and live sync that with Lumion, and I'm going to go over to Lumion. And tough to find it. Tough to find the object because I did this purposefully so you could see what's going on here. So the object over in Rhino, it's named grass. The material is named grass. So Lumion automatically puts a grass material on it and that makes it really hard to see. So a couple ways I can go about it. I can change the material name over in Rhino or I can go to materials and I can hover over the object and select it. And I can just make a new material that doesn't have the texture on it. So I can go to materials and I can go to new, which is the default tab there, and I can click on standard and it changes it to a standard material. Okay, so now what we're seeing here is that this object is interfering with the grass because they're at the same Z height, they're at the same plane. So we can change that if I click the check mark to exit out of the materials. I can go to home and there's a utilities here and I can cut the landscape, the default landscape that comes with Lumion. So I can click on that and then I can click on place. I need to click on place and we'll find a few objects here and one of them is called landscape cutter. Now you can only place two of these. So I'm just, I'm just clicking on it and placing it in the, in the scene. And after I place two, I can't place any more. All right, we'll delete one of them. So we'll pick this one and just delete that. Just click on the garbage can and click on the garbage can again. Okay, so this particular one, if I click in the middle, I can move it around. And you see now, when I move it onto the ground plane from Rhino, I can make it bigger just by dragging these corners. So it takes a little practice, takes a little bit getting used to, but now it is cutting that landscape. It's putting a hole in it. And unfortunately, you can only put two, and they're square, so that can be problematic. So what Lumion suggests, if you, you know, need to see a basement or lower than the ground plane, 
you can look at changing the landscape height by lowering it in that area. And we'll take a look at the landscape height and how you change the landscape height. Okay, so that's the landscape cutter and the standard material. Next, we're going to look at landscape presets. Okay, so I'm going to click on the landscape here. And you see a little icon. So one thing to note is I'm under paint. So there's these functions or tools or categories, I would call them, that you can change the height of the landscape. You can add water. You can add an ocean. You can add, change the landscape grass. You can open up street map. And you can paint it. So I just want to look at paint for now. And I'm going to click on this little icon that says choose landscape. And I can choose the landscape material. I can look at that. And, you know, that's, that's helpful if you want to change it to, you know, something like snow or sand. And we're going to take a closer look at this in a little bit to get this to work a little bit better for us. So I'm just going to choose, just going to choose grass for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to landscape grass and I'm going to turn it on because by default it's off. And we're going to zoom into this in a second here. So let's zoom on in. Okay, so I'm going to make the grass size bigger. And I'm going to make the grass height bigger. And I'm going to make the grass more wild. <laughs> All right, so you start to see that grass material. All right, so it's now like a physical grass size, which is really helpful. All right, what's next? Next, we're going to look at landscape height. All right, let's take a look at that. So height, let's zoom out here. So you notice you have a couple functions here. You have raised. You have lower, you have flatten, you have jitter, and you have smoothen. So we're going to start with the raise. And there's a brush size, and there's a brush speed. And we'll talk a little bit about the brush speed in a second. So here's my brush size. It's way too big. Get that big yellow circle there. Still a little bit too big. And I'm going to go in here, and this is raising. it. And what's pretty cool is it's using my default landscape preset underneath when I raise it. And it's kind of making these mounds. If I zoom in, you can see these mounds. <laughs> and you can always go in and you can undo if you raise it too high. And you can flatten it. There's a flattened landscape. We'll just, just take it back to the default. And let's look at the brush speed. So if you want to make some mountains really tall really quick, you can raise that brush speed really high. And then you can click and you see it's making some mounds that are a lot higher, and I'm going to undo that. All right, let's go back to the landscape presets. So that was under paint, and we can look at changing these presets and see what that does. So there's our snow, here's our sand, here's our, or that one's the snow, which is, so it's showing me the underneath the grass is snow. So that's pretty cool. It's like this, this layer underneath based on the landscape preset. All right, let's go back to snow since it's winter. Okay, let's look at painting now on the landscape object. All right, so to paint, what I need to do is I need to click on one of these textures just to get my texture options to show up in the upper left. So, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of these paint slots. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me the, the materials textures, the landscape textures that I can select from that I can use to paint. And in the lower right here, you see brush size, brush speed, and tile size. So if I just click, it's starting to paint this rock material on here. And there's other options that I can choose and it automatically changes which is really cool it like changes it to the to the preset here or the landscape texture i should say which is really nice and if i let me undo that if i make the brush speed a little faster it's a little easier to to go ahead and paint 
and I can change the tile size. So you see I can get like some really large snow in there. I can change the brush size. So we're doing a little painting of snow, which is really cool. And let's get a close up look at this. All right, and I can change the tile size, be bigger or smaller. Let's go ahead as a last thing to do here is change, change the height of it. So back to landscape and we have height. I'm gonna raise some of this stuff up higher. <laughs> uh, I got the brush speed too fast there, so undo that. So keep that brush size smaller. All right, and then we can I can use the flatten or the lower, I should say. So I can lower it too, which is kind of fun. Make some craters in there. And we have flatten, which will just kind of flatten the area out. Jitter, which does like different types of heights for it. And then smoothen. I can smooth some of this out. All right, let's zoom in a little closer to this. Let's get that grass, that grass height back to being, let's see if I can get that to be taller. Have it all the way up now. All right, that's all I wanted to cover was the landscape in Lumion. I hope you enjoyed it. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. I'm going to put two videos in the upper right and the lower right. All right. If you liked it, leave me a like, comment below why you liked it. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.